Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Darlene and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back to another daily vlog. So today is actually Tuesday and I have had the best morning. As you guys saw, I went to Press Coffee, what's new? But I went to go meet a friend of mine who I literally haven't seen in like three years. She's like one of like my OG like content creator influencer friends that I had met here in San Antonio. And you know, life happened, life got in the way and we just haven't had a chance to see each other. And we finally made plans to meet up today for the first time in what feels like forever because it literally has been forever. And it was just like the best morning with her. And of course, it's at one of my favorite places, Press. I did ask if she wanted to go somewhere else where she wanted to go to Press and I'm so glad because that's like, as you guys know, one of my favorite places. But it was such a good morning and I'm so glad I finally got to see her. She's gonna start posting more like content stuff. She took a little bit of a break. So I'm gonna go ahead and tag her Instagram in the description box if you guys wanna give her a follow. But it is currently one o'clock and I just got to Bath and Body Works that is over here by the coffee shop. I want to see if they have the blingy ghost anti-bag holder. Yesterday was like the launch of Halloween and I don't know why. I went to Home Goods yesterday and to, where did I go? Home Goods at Ross and I don't know why I didn't have it in my brain to go to Bath and Body Works. There was literally one next to where I was but I didn't go for some reason. I just think I kind of forgot that yesterday was a launch day. So I'm a day late so I want to go inside and see if they have the ghost yet and I also want to see what other Halloween stuff they have. We are back inside. I didn't get that much footage inside Bath & Body Works because I mainly wanted to get some stuff for a TikTok. But you guys, I'm so excited. I finally got the little blingy ghost anti-back holder. She's so cute. So this little guy was $7.95. They did have some other stuff too. I didn't go crazy shocking but i did get this really cute ghosty wallflower it's kind of like iridescent if you can kind of tell and i got that for free so if you guys are going to go to bath and body works make sure you check your rewards on your oh that guy's going over a curb oh 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 you are going to bath and body works and you want to get some stuff make sure to check your rewards because i actually had a free product for up to 16.95 and this little wallflower plug-in is 16.95 so i got it for free make sure you check here and i scanned it and i literally got that for free so cool so i just got two things um but i'm super excited i'm trying to be like i said i think in my last vlog more intentional with my halloween purchases because i have like i built up like my kind of collection last year when we like moved into our first apartment together and i never really had the chance to do that any other time so i got a lot of stuff already so i'm trying to be like very very careful with what i buy i still haven't gone through my storage stuff at home but i will at some point in the next coming weeks but it's currently 1 30 and i have to go home and get some content done and filmed i'll talk about it a little bit more later but let's go home i'm also really hungry all i've had today is coffee and water and gonna be 1 30 and that's not good so i am back home and i just filmed that content that i had to do i don't even know if i did I talk about it earlier oh ranger's coming because i have a banana and these are his favorite you want to jump okay well you have to wait <laughs> ranger <laughs> uh, it's currently 2 43 and i have not eaten at all today i have some cheesy pudding that i made yesterday and honestly i know i need to eat something like i am really hungry but my stomach, I feel like, kind of hurts because I haven't eaten all day. And I think I'm going to make flautas, chicken flautas, for dinner tonight because I have leftover, uh, like, shredded chicken from dinner last night. And I wanted to make, like, some flautas, so I think I'm going here. Let me give Ranger a piece for so he can leave me alone. Gentle. Oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> then he runs off. Okay, as I was trying to say, I made some shredded chicken yesterday for like kind of like some tortas and I have some left over so I think I'm gonna make some flautas for dinner. It's kind of like already like late, like it's like an awkward time. It's almost gonna be three and I think I'm gonna cook maybe around like five or six. So I wanted to have something kind of like light right now because like, you know when you don't eat in your stomach, like, feel spunky because you haven't eaten? Well, that's my problem right now. As I was trying to say, I got home. Matthew was waking up because if you guys don't know, he does work overnight. So he was about to get up and leave to go to work. And I had to film that content that is, it's not due today, but the service was for today. Here, one last piece. Before I get sidetracked it again, this is my chia seed pudding with some bananas. It is so good. This could be my little, like, I guess... A breakfast brunch breakfast and lunch for today i love putting bananas on it and i feel like i need some sort of like fruit and i drizzle some honey and this is so good so good so yeah 
But anywho, as I was saying, I had to film that content. Basically, I'm collaborating with a local business here in San Antonio. They are a laundry service, which is so cool. But you bag it, they pick it up, and they do all the work, and then they deliver it back to you. So you don't have to like leave your house, which is amazing. I cannot wait to share more about it once I post my video, which will be probably sometime next week. So I'm going to eat my chia seed pudding. I need to answer some emails because since I didn't work this morning, I have to do that tonight. So... We're gonna do that and I'll check back in maybe when I do dinner or something. All right, you guys, it is a little bit later, but I am making dinner. It's literally only 4.25, but I am starving. <laughs> so we're having dinner early tonight. I'm making some chicken flautas. I know you guys asked me for like a recipe when I mentioned this like several vlogs ago, but I get really stressed out <laughs> trying to like talk about me cooking and then also trying to film it. These are my beautiful flautas. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? They came out so golden and delicious today. But basically, all I do is, um, well, okay, so I'm already done. For my chicken, it's like the easiest thing. I've been loving doing it this way. I normally get the chicken from Costco. Let me show y'all. So I normally get the kind that you can like cut up the chicken breast. And I like it because two come in here. So it's like perfect for me and Matthew. So what I do is I put my crock pot on high for four hours. I also do a can like a Rotel or whatever it is that you have. I use the HB one and it's the same as Rotel. I also put some water to that. It's like covering the top of the chicken. Put some of this caldo de tomate and then some caldo de pollo. And then I just let it cook and then it like comes out so nice and it shreds itself. I also made some rice. It's still cooking. That's gonna be dinner tonight. Flautas can be like really hard or really easy depending on how you make them, but dinner's gonna be delicious. Dinner is served. I have my rice with my flautas. I have some crema, queso fresco, and some green salsa, and a root beer poppy. Finished dinner, it was so good. I relaxed for a bit. We're gonna be doing something that I haven't done in forever and I keep putting it off. I've been wanting to do it every Sunday recent, but I think I get so tired that I just forget about it. But today is the day. We're finally gonna be washing my makeup brushes. So this is my little makeup brush setup. I honestly think I might be getting rid of some brushes because I don't know why I have so many. I don't even use all these, but let's go to the restroom and set this up. Here are all of my brushes nice and laid out. And I don't honestly don't even know why I have so many. These are all of like the bronzer and contour ones. These here are just kind of like powder brushes, like all over face brushes. These here are blush. These here are foundation. These here are, honestly, I don't even know, like some stippling brush and like a powder brush, I think. These here are all eyeshadow. These, let me see. These here are all eyeshadow. I haven't done like a crazy eyeshadow look since before COVID. So I don't even know why I have all these. I don't even use them. And these two here are my highlighting brushes. I think I'm definitely gonna let go of some of them. This brush here, it's like, what is the brand? It Cosmetics, this one and this one. These two brushes here are my oldest brushes that I have. I've had these, I want to say since like 2013, 2014 when I fully like went into makeup and they have held up so well, but I think it's time to go because I have had these for so long. They're the Live Beautifully line, which I don't even know that they have these anymore or make them. I've had these forever and I think it's time. It's time, but I'm going to go through all these and see which ones I don't want and like don't use and just throw them away these are all the brushes Oops, i just dropped one that i'm going to be getting rid of which i think is a pretty good amount so let's wash all of those my brushes are clean it feels so good i also went in with some clorox wipes and cleaned all the handles
you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i'm gonna spend my night reading my new book i've gotten through that much so far this is good girl complex i also have on this like nice video on youtube with some rain sounds a fireplace it's nice and cozy i'm gonna just read my book and relax for the rest of the evening thank you so much for watching this vlog and i will see you guys in my next one bye